Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have got um, what I bought at Primark last weekend when I was in Edinburgh. Now, I already filmed this video when I was in the hotel in Edinburgh, but where I had the camera sitting in the room, you ended up seeing my face way too much and it was like, no, I'm not putting that on YouTube because no one needs to see my face. So it was last Sunday. Um, and it's taken me till the following Sunday, today, to film this because I've been busy with work or try to catch up with vlogs and whatnot. So this time you're not going to get to see my face, but obviously none of you have seen that video. Um, so if um, you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm already saying this way at the start. And um, please hit the subscribe button. Um, the thing is, is... Because I've only got 27 subscribers, I can't really do like polls and like say something and people put in comments because I've only, I think you need like a thousand subscribers for that and I mean that's going to take me a lifetime. Um, so I can't really uh, like have people leaving comments. Like I think because YouTube does that whole, is this video made for kids, yes or no? And when I put in yes, um, because if you don't click one of the two, I'm pretty sure it won't let you upload the video, so you've got to click it. And because I clicked, yes, this is made for kids, um, for some reason I can't have people commenting. I mean, I usually do disable the comments anyways, but in my last video, I think it was, the beauty box, the Look Fantastic beauty box, um, nobody could leave a comment because I was asking people to leave comments and obviously you couldn't. Um, so I'll get into this video. Um, so what I bought was this big huge Mickey bag. I mean you're not going to be able to see it all. I might um, pick up the camera so you can kind of get a better look at it. It's a big huge tote bag. That is a, It's not fully like open. I have like closed it all up kind of thing. But it is gigantic. Um, this cost I'm pretty sure a fiver out of Primark. Um, I absolutely love the colours, the pink, the neon pink, the neon green. Um, the thing is with this bag is I did use it when I came back home last Monday and these straps here, that's upside down, but it says Walt Disney, it was hurting my shoulders sitting on it but that's just normal for my body being in pain if like I hold bags on my shoulders and that. Um, I don't know about anybody else's body, but that's how my body is. So it did hurt, and it was full of stuff. Um, so I will get into what I have got in this big, huge bag. Um, so I bought this... Oh, it's inside out, sorry. I don't know, get it in the right way. This is another bag, another tote bag. It is a Disney one, Mickey, and it has got... A on it which is obviously my name is Avi so you know I thought I'd get this now I seen this bag way before I seen the neon Mickey one the big huge one I um, I was looking for the big huge Mickey one and I couldn't find it anywhere turns out it was with all the other bags near the till so I ended up just picking it up as well and um, this one was four pound it is a lovely little tote bag. I've got so many tote bags. I didn't need any more, but I bought it anyways. Because when I went down to Edinburgh, um, I hadn't packed away a tote bag with me because um, I had a mad rush because of bus times, whatever. Um, so I ended up seeing this and I thought, I'd buy it. I don't need it. But then again, I keep saying, oh, I'm going to go to Disney. Disneyland Paris. But it hasn't happened. I mean, I can't afford to go. But I'm buying things as if I'm going to Disney, like, soon, which I'm not. <laughs> I mean, COVID's stopping that. But also, I haven't started saving money. And obviously, you need money to go to Disney. So, if I ever do get to go to Disneyland Paris, whenever that'll be, hopefully I still have this bag. And I can use it there. So, you've got, obviously, Mickey here. Good old Mickey. And on the side, it says made with sustainable cotton so that is a nice little bag they did have other tote bags but they weren't disney but they did like just have initials on it for anybody who is interested um 
next thing out of the bag see i've still got tags some of them i've took the tags off and some of them i haven't i have been wanting to wear these but because i haven't done my video yet i didn't want to well i had did the video but you know um i wanted to wait oh so these are from the men's section nice lovely blue and on it it says why not in the video that you obviously haven't seen i said i'm pretty sure that's a hilary duff song I know I'm not going to sing because I don't actually remember the lyrics to it. These are a size 8, £6. They, hopefully they do fit me. I am the type of person that will wear sliders as slippers in the house. I'll have on my socks and put on sliders. So that, like when I can go outside because I try not to wear slippers on outside. Um, I think, if I remember rightly, I mean it was like a week and a day ago now. So like I can't remember much. <laughs> um, I think they've got these in like bright well neon bright orange and i can't remember the other color sorry guys but yeah so like i said these are from the men's section and yes i do buy um stuff from the men's section i did see um i did actually pick up from the women's section but i put them back they were if i remember rightly white and here it was like sparkly i was like ooh, i like them but then i seen these in the men's section so i put the women's ones back Okay, so next item is, oh, I forgot I bought this. <laughs> like the bag, it is a Mickey neon t-shirt. Now the thing is, is I don't need any more t-shirts. I really don't, but I seen it and I liked it, so I bought it anyways. This is from the women's section. They have got like, this new neon kind of thing where it's like the green, the pink, and then obviously Mickey. Um, I'm pretty sure there's like, jogger bottoms and a hoodie but I don't think it's the neon now there is I'm sure I've seen online there is the one like this but it was is that a, a sweatshirt dress or something like that now I could not find it for the life of me in the section that they had in Primark in Edinburgh it's got five floors for anybody who doesn't know but um I mean I don't need this sweatshirt jumper but like I said if I ever go to Disney which will probably you know, I mean, it might never happen. It might happen for me. Who knows? But it's like what I gave for if I ever go there. Who knows? Um. So this, you get this little tag here on it, and the t-shirt was seven pound. It is an XL, which is a UK eighteen to twenty. Um. So hopefully that should fit me. I mean, I'm in between sizes. I don't actually know what my size is right now. So that is a little we. Mickey neon t-shirt so the next item I have is a Mickey jumper like I said I don't need jumpers but the reason I bought this was because when I was traveling down to Edinburgh on the mega bus I was freezing and I had a thin jacket I didn't have time to take a jumper because I would have took a jumper with me but I didn't have time I mean, I did pack the night before I went to Edinburgh, but I hadn't completely finished packing. Um, so, anyways, like I said, I was cold going down to Edinburgh, but coming back up on the mega bus, I wasn't cold. I was roasting, so in the end, I didn't need this jumper. Um, I think this was, how I say, £8. I could be wrong. Um, I've took the tag off because obviously I was going to wear it, but then I didn't need to. Um, is it telling you a size? It is XL. 18 to 20 UK and it does fit me I know it does because I've obviously tried it on but then I ended up not needing it Um, it doesn't have any like pockets on it because you know sometimes jumpers have oh, I think it's my hoodie thing isn't it with the um, pockets but yeah nice little with this like paint kind of splatter actually looks quite nice Um, so the next sorry I'm just trying to adjust my camera here before I get out the next item that I bought is this here which is one of the facial stone roller things um it was five pound as you can see and it's like a black color and the handle is here and then you've got this little bit here Um, I bought this because um I've got TMJ so my jaws hurt a lot and I don't know if this will work rolling this like hit my jaws or not on my face I don't know if this will work or not Um, I was wanting one of these ones because um, the other ones it was like 
a little hand, like a tiny little thing, or it was like a weird shaped one. Um, and it was like, yeah, I'm not having that because it reminds me too much of something else that I'm not going to say, but I'm sure you can, I know if you've seen them before in Primark. Um, and as you can see, I still haven't taken it out of the box, but I have actually needed to use this the past week because uh, my jaw and face has been hurting. But I am one of those people that will take something out of package and then they can't put it back in the same way and then it's all higgly piggly. So it's like, no, I can't aim um, until I finish this video. But now that I've filmed it and I will be able to upload it online, I can then take this out of the package. Hallelujah. So the next item, oh my gosh, this bag. I actually forgotten most of the stuff I've bought. I even got myself socks. Now, loads of people go to Primark, just, they'll go to Primark and all they'll get is socks. You know, shout out to all these people that do that, you know. Um, so this is five pairs, £2.50, crew, crew socks, reinforced heel and toe, cotton rich with lycra. They are a UK size 4 to 8. My shoe size is 8, but I have got wide feet. So I do not know if they'll fit me or not. I usually buy the socks for the men's section in Primark, but I don't like the look of them. They fit me better. Um, but most of my socks are getting holes in them, so I'm chucking them in the bin and it's like, um, I was wanting some new ones, so I thought I'd get these ones and try them. Hopefully they'll like be stretchy enough to fit onto my wide feet. So just nice black. See, usually I get different coloured socks. I don't... And then all the time I'll get black ones. I try my best not to buy white socks because obviously um, the soles of white socks just end up going black anyways. So yeah, that's the socks. Um, next item, another massage item, is this handheld body massager. Used to help promote circulation and help relieve muscle tension and um, if you can hear any background noise that is my mum actually hoovering downstairs my bedroom is above the sitting room so sorry about that noise can't do nothing about it this was four pound and it looks like this so i will get, use that because um i've got long ligaments i know i've got so much things wrong with me, it's unreal um i've actually pulled a muscle in my thigh on wednesday and this is now sunday and my thigh is still sore so i might try and see if this will help because paracetamol is not working muscle gel isn't working either and it, it's like really sore so i'm hoping that this will work um like i said i haven't taken out the package because i wouldn't be able to put it back in the right way um so you can use it on your body your shoulder, your arm and your leg which is good because I'm going to need it because to use that on all those because like my full body is always sore um, 3D 360 rotating balls it says on here so when I seen this in Primark it was like do you know what I'm just going to buy it I mean it's £4 you can't go wrong there that's cheap enough for me so hopefully it works, I haven't used it yet, I'm just hoping that it does work, hopefully. And um, oh, I've got two more items to go, I thought I had one more but I don't. Um, I ended up getting a pack of 60 black hair bobbles or hair ties, whatever you want to call them. And they're a pound, I've got so much hair, it's unreal. You know you can never have too many. I mean loads of females are like, they'll have loads and they'll lose them. I'm one of those people who doesn't lose them, but because my hair's thick, these end up snapping so easy, like so easily. So, a pack of sixty. I don't know how long that's going to last me, but um, it would. I don't know if they had like because I would rather have had multicolored ones, but I didn't see any multicolored ones, so that's why I've got black ones. Um. So the last item. Now, when I filmed the video in the hotel, I actually dropped this, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, and I said in the video how the coin in the shop, when she was scanning it, the lid like came off. Now, when I found this in the shop, um, it is like right downstairs at the bottom. Um, if you go along Princess Street and you go into Primark, you'd have to probably go down the stairs or go down the lift to get to the um, like ground level well the level this is on but um i was on rose street so if you go in 
to Primark via Rose Street, you will end up in the home section and then you go upstairs and then are you in the men's section? Or are you in the women's? I honestly can't. Like, that place confuses me. It's like five floors. Anywho, I've been looking for this eucalyptus uh, scented candle since June. I think that's when they put it on their website. Obviously, when Primark was reopening. Um, so, I was like, right, I'm going to buy this. Anywho, I had lifted this to look at it. And then I put didn't put the lid back on. And when I went to put it in the basket, the, it like fell off and it made a right noise and the same thing happened to the coin at the till um it is three pound fifty light gray one size i mean it is heavy and it is i'd say that's like a medium so i cannot wait to burn that i mean i didn't need a new candle but i've been wanting this because i love the smell of eucalyptus um it's a nice smell and uh, like I said, I've been wanting it since June, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get it because um, I've been looking for it for so long. Now, when I was in Primark in June, May, the end of May, was it? Yeah, the end of May. Yeah, last week of May I was in Pr Edinburgh, when I was last in Edinburgh, and I couldn't find it. So it couldn't have been June that was on the website then. It must have been the April, the March, April. There I go, I'm just making things up. I can't remember things. Right, so it was it at some point, right, this year we'll just say, right? <laughs> and that's when they had the eucalyptus candle. So I've ended up finally buying it in the September. And um I'm sure some of you've managed to read it, but it says it burns up to 36 hours. So for anybody who's interested how long it will last. And I think that was the last item in my big huge mickey bag so yes it was I'm um, sorry it took like a week for this to go and hopefully I will get this uploaded today Um, like I said at the start please give this video a good thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button I would like more subscribers please and, it, and to all the people the 27 people who have subscribed thank you and to the people who do watch this video and are not subscribed, thanks for watching it. Um, hopefully you might end up subscribing at some point maybe in the future, who knows. Um, I'm going to stop talking now because this video is almost 18 minutes long and I'm just talking a load of rubbish. So thank you to everybody who's watched this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!